Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to another video. So, I recently, occasionally, will get a comment or a DM or while I'm live and I sometimes play Xenoverse 2 uh, modded, I'll get a comment or someone DM me like, yo, how do you mod this? And by the way, if you're wondering, I, I, I got the green screen up, but I realized I got a green shirt on, so that's kind of an L on me. I kind of don't feel like putting it down, though. So I realized too late. But anyways, back to the thing. So usually people ask me how to mod Xenoverse 2. And for the most part, because truth be told, especially when I'm asked in the middle of the stream, like I just don't want to take the time out of my day to show you guys. So I just thought maybe I should just, usually I would link a slow plays video or yeah, that's pretty much it. And I thought, you know what? Let me just create my own tutorial per se. So anyways, the first thing you want to do is go on over to this website right here. I'm gonna link everything in the description down below so you guys could just have a direct link to where you wanna, you know, download these mods. But essentially go to this play page, it's called Eternity Tools. This is the person that created the patcher that allows you to mod Xenoverse 2. Show this person some love, you guys, is, well, they have their Patreon right here in case you wanna show some love to it. And don't be rude to them because I, re I remember the last time uh, there was a massive update. Just know whenever there's a massive update, you're gonna wait months for the patch to be updated You have to wait some time for the patch to be updated the last time there was a massive update We waited like three months for the patch to be updated and people were just talking crazy by eternity on reddit So I'm gonna just say this right now. Don't be that person. I'm sure eternity has their own life going on They probably have a full-time job or whatever. This is probably just something they do for free or at least for some donations right here so try not to be rude to eternity they do this for us but anyways once you download this so at least for me i got this issue when i download it where my download will get blocked so essentially what i like to do is that i'll go to downloads and then it'll say download blocked and you would have to matter of fact let me see if i would have the issue now if i download it so i can show you guys yeah, so let's say dangerous download blocked. What you want to do is, let me just show you guys, go to full download history. It'll, say, it'll show this, keep dangerous file. This will allow your firewall to just download it regardless of whether they believe it's a, it's a, it's a virus or not. It's not a virus, it just affects your files. So it, your firewall will probably see it as a virus. What you want to do is allow it. So after that, you would go to your protection history in your, your virus and threat protection. You go to protection history, go to the thing that was blocked and oops. Yeah, it's going to it's going to do that. Go to the thing that's blocked and then press allow and it will allow you to download it. Once you have it downloaded, it should show up as a zip. Oh, that's right. I need to link you guys a zip. Okay, I'll link it later when I find it. I'll link you guys the zip, but essentially you will have it as a zip file. What you want to do is so you can either have your own folder for mods, which is what I like to do. I like to have all my mods in a folder for specific reasons, or you can just leave it out in the open. Who knows? But what you want to do is open it up, right? Also find, oops. Also find your Xenoverse 2. So this would be the patcher right here, 4.22 RAR. This is our patcher. And then you would also want to open up your installer. This will be what allows you to install the mods and the patcher is, as you can guess, what patches in, you know, all the mod stuff and whatnot. There's a couple of other stuff you could look through in here that you would like to use, like an audio tool, which allows you to change uh, or add in in-game OST to the game if you want to do that or change it. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I honestly don't mess with any of this. I believe CAC2X2M allows you to make your CAC into a uh, a mod. So in case you want to have uh, more than just eight CACs, you can kind of just make one a mod, delete it, and then create a whole new CAC, all up to you. Once you got your uh, needed things opened, what you want to do is find out where your Xenoverse 2 is downloaded. If you don't know how to find it, essentially just go into your Steam, then library, click on xenoverse 2 oh they updated that's nice and then don't don't mind my hours <laughs> and then i believe it would be this and would it be under properties oh, okay perfect so what you want to do is once you open up 
uh, Steam, go to Xenoverse 2, press this thing right here to manage it, go to properties, and then uh, install files and click on browse right here, which will take you straight to where it's installed pretty much. And your, your Xenoverse 2 won't look like this, it only looks like this for me because I don't want to delete the mods because then I'll have to mod in everything. But essentially what you want to do from here is go back to your patcher, you would want to excuse me you would want to just copy everything and just drag it on over here same thing with your installer copy everything and drag it on over here the installer and the patches share is one file together which i believe it's the alternative hold on oh it would be the change log dot text that's the only file they share it together so it often it will just ask you like would you like to replace it you can press yes or no it doesn't really matter just know uh they share one file together but once you add these two in your xenoverse 2 folder should look a lot like mine except i got a, some, a little extra with the xenoverse 2 super soul editor which i'll also add in the descri description below but your xeno your xenoverse 2 folder should look a lot like this once you got all this installed what you want to do is open up xv2.ins all right so obviously once you open up your mods installer uh it won't look like mine i got a whole bunch of mods installed but essentially you will look empty you'll be able to install all your mods so here's the mods that i believe everyone should have installed because it's pretty much staple mods it's pretty much every mod either uses this in its mod or uses its assets in the mod so it doesn't hurt to have it already installed because a lot of mods are gonna be like yeah you need this installed so the number one thing is i'm gonna I'm link them all below you would want new transformations parentheses added skills by lazy bones right here i'm wondering if i could just lower this okay new transformations or added skills by lazy bone and essentially what it is is it gives you super saiyan god blue blue kyle ken ultra instinct sign ultra instinct super saiyan rose super saiyan 4 all types of transformations that in my opinion the game lacks and needs but we got lazy bone for that so lazy bone is another creator another modder that i would definitely say show some love to lazy bone because lazy bone created a lot like a lot of modders uses lazy bones uh mod pack which is really good there's an aura pack and all that stuff and then also you would want to have yourself downloaded dragon ball xenoverse 2 revamped now this is a huge mod this mod you actually have to install first before anything else because it like the name says it revamps the whole game updates cutscenes character design character models even some skill sets get updated and they added they add extra costumes and all that kind of stuff you have super saiyan radix super saiyan turles all that sweetness it's in this new characters as well like golden cooler some dragon super dragon ball heroes stuff so you definitely want to install this as well some new skills as well for your characters so you definitely want to install this first so when you download new transformations you'll once again get a raw file so you click on the folder you got a whole lot of options so you got hair change transformations no hair change transformations other transformations roster characters and extra let me take you step by step so hair change transformations is obviously it will literally change your hairstyle now in one of these i think it's in the readme he lists down below the hair ids which are right here so if you find a hair mod pack that gives you hairstyles for it um definitely tried if they're not already like uh already put in with these hair ids then obviously put it in for yourself if you want i can show i can do a tutorial for that as well in the future but for the most part that's what it does just gives you transformations that change your hairstyle and then there's no hair change transformations which don't change your hairstyle you might think i don't want to use that because i would like my hairstyle to change but for example I use the no hair change ultra instinct for humans because ultra instinct for males the hair is made after my CAC my Saiyan CAC and my human CAC got a different hairstyle than my Saiyan so I just do no hair change for for the human version just so that there's no weird inconsistencies and then other transformations now this is actually the really cool part so what it does is there's this transformation called divine potential so 
essentially it's potential unleashed and then super saiyan god for everybody except you won't actually go super saiyan god you're not going to just get red hair out of nowhere instead it's just going to give you the red super saiyan god aura and all that stuff freeze race transformations all these cool ass mods install all of this trust me you're gonna love it it's gonna give you a reason to play as your Majin and your Frieza race more over a Saiyan. And then roster characters would just be stuff like uh, Imperfect Cell transforming to Perfect Cell, Super Perfect, Cooler transforming, Freezer transforming, all this stuff. Goku going from base to Super Saiyan Blue, like base, Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, God Blue, stuff like that. Definitely wanna uh, check that out if you like to do stuff like that extra honestly i really just go for other skills i just install this i've never really installed all default hairs i don't know what's that for truth be told i never messed around with it but that's that you can they also got some mods that come with moveset swapping as in your moveset was literally changed when you transform so they have one for ultra instinct which when you go ultra instinct you just have ultra instinct goku's moveset and then they got super saiyan rose where in base form you would have Zamasu's moveset, and then when you go Super Saiyan Rose, you will have Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black's moveset. And once you download all these mods, hey, go crazy, bro. Enjoy your mods, man. Enjoy your mods. Uh, one thing I'll definitely say is definitely check out uh, Xenoverse2mods.com. I, I always have a bookmark. I always like to check it at the end of the week, but I always go by latest mods first because those are the ones that are most likely going to work with the current update. But definitely look around, see what you want to use, use them. If you don't want to use them, you can skip right through them, but go crazy. Have fun, bro. Playing Xenoversal mods is truly one of the most fun things about the game. Like base Xenoverse 2, it's all right, but Xenoverse 2 with mods is insanely fun. So if you have a PC, you can run Xenoverse 2 on your PC. I, I highly suggest modding it and if you want if you want to know extra stuff like how to change your hairstyles and how to allow yourself to play online just in case you want to play online with other people like how I do with my brother definitely uh, let me know I'll make a tutorial for those as well and with all that being said I just want to say everyone stay happy stay blessed and stay safe if y'all love Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and want kind of been getting a little stale with it definitely play it with mods on PC I think it's genuinely worth it xenoverse 2 goes on sale very often so you could probably get it for really cheap with all the mods probably for like 40 50 dollars so once again everyone appreciate y'all like comment subscribe show some love and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out everyone